You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. <laughs> sent a message that he wants you to come home for the New Year festival. Hmm? So by weekend I'm going to organize it so that you will leave. After the ceremony, just make sure you come home, okay? Okay. Come in! Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Just over, go and get her something to drink. No, 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 no. You don't need to bother. Uh, okay, go back to the kitchen. Let's see what you can do then. Okay. Thank you. All right. Lizzie, you look worried. What's the problem? My sister, my mother is dying. Oh, God forbid, your mother will not die. Mm -hmm. Is it that her sickness again? The sickness has degenerated. The doctor said she has to undergo an operation. An operation? <laughs> the worst is that the amount of money they are requesting for is unimaginable. 150,000 Naira. Hey, tell me. Where on earth will I get such huge amount of money? You know how life has been with me financially since I lost my job. The worst is that the doctor said if you are not fast that it may cost her life. God forbid. God forbid. Lizzie, it is well. How can it be well when my mother is lying helpless in a hospital bed? Why has life been so unfair to me? I am all alone in this whole world. No family. No one to run to. Why, why, why must life be so unfair? Why? Liz, it's okay. Don't sound as if it's the end of the world. Eh? You have me. See, when my husband comes back, I'm going to talk to him. And I know he will help. Thank you very much, Rachel. What would I have done without your wonderful support? Lizzie, you don't need to thank me. You would have done the same for me if you were in my shoes. I don't see you as my friend anymore. You're like my sister. Whatever I would do for my blood sister, I would do for you. Rachel. Very much. It's okay. I don't know how I could ever thank you and your husband enough for your kindness. <laughs> Lizzie, reward is from God alone. Mm -hmm. Just cheer up for me. Mm -hmm. Cheer up, cheer up. Can I get you something to eat now? No, 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 not now. Good, please. It is okay. 
save my mother for me. She's the only one I have apart from you. It's okay. Hmm? Everything is going to be alright. Amen. It's okay. Hey, Mama. Lovely queen. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I love it. I'm glad you love it. <laughs> you are the best in the world. Oh, <laughs> darling, please don't start with your praises again. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Elizabeth was here today. I see. How's she doing? She's fine. Just that she has a very big problem. And maybe I would like us to help her. What kind of problem is that? My mother is very ill. She is to undergo an operation that will cost a lot of money. 150,000 naira. How do we come in? Darling, you know since Elizabeth lost her job, she does not have any other source of income. Darling, I don't know why you derive joy in carrying other people's burden. Darling, Elizabeth is not just an ordinary friend of mine. She's my best friend. And I cannot leave her at this point of difficulty. I understand. But we already have done so much in the past for her. Eh? Mm. Was to break her hands each time she has a personal problem. Darling, I know we, we had done a lot for her in the past. But this is her mother's life we are talking about. Please, let us help her. Darling, please do it for me. Please. I think we can do something. Are you happy now? I'm happy. Thank you. Have some juice. in this night. What is it that has been giving you sleepless nights? Darling, I know something is bothering you. What is it? It's about us. About us? Yes. The fact that Gona is the only son of our family bothers me. It brings back to me a lot of sad memories. Darling, Gona has two younger sisters. <laughs> I 
이렇게 엄청 나스타는데 You won't understand how painful and lonely it is to be the only son. I went through a lot of anguish and pains for being the only son of our family. I don't want you not to go through the same experience. My husband, you and I know that it is nobody's fault. Maybe that's the way God wants us. Well, maybe that's someone or woman. God will never want to go not to be sad and alone. You don't seem to understand what I'm talking about. I do. I understand, but... But what? But what? After all, it's all your fault. How is it my fault? How is it my fault that we're unable to have more children? How is it my fault? Woman, I want to sleep. Let me be for now. for the meeting? Yes, but you have to eat something. Just wait. This is very unusual of you. Can't you understand? I'm late for the town's meeting. Are you rejecting my food? Listen to me. Food is not the only thing that makes a man what he is. Besides, my position among my people is a very sensitive one. I must attend this meeting and on time too. Okay? I know I put you through a lot of emotional pains, but you don't blame me. No man in my shoes will be happy to see his dreams not come true. Nobody. I wanted us to have many children in our family. But now you cannot take it any longer. Can't you see all my expectations have come? suggesting that they'll bring a final solution to our problem. Oh, 
Yes, because she's an only child. Her parents did not want her to get married. But I know I can talk her to say reasons with me to marry you. I know she'll give you as many children as you wish. back into my home. Please, please, please marry him. Please. Richard. There is nothing I wouldn't do for you. This one you are talking about. Oh, Lizzie. I know how you feel. But look into my eyes and see the tears in them. Listen, you alone can dry my tears. You alone can bring the light into this my dark world. Listen, you're the only one who can bring back smile to this face. I know we are going to live in peace together. I don't want him to bring a total stranger, please. Please, please, I will kneel down, please. Please, For some time now, I've been watching the two of you. With the kind of love and peace I observe between the two of you, this family is heading for greatness. I am so happy. All I can tell you for now is to keep it up and leave the rest to me. Well, Igwe, I think all thanks should go to your new wife. She deserves it. Me? No. Ah, uh, I do not deserve any of the thanks. <laughs> Rather, all thanks and praise should go to God, for He alone deserves it. Concerning the unity and peace that is existing, I think it's as a result of general effort, not just me alone. Elizabeth. Yes. Words cannot quantify my appreciation for your understanding and joy. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks. I'm pretty still good to God. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Igwe. Yes, darling. We have good news. Good news? Elizabeth is pregnant. Did I hear you well? <laughs> Elizabeth, yes, yes. did you hear her? Is that right? Come, 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 come. <laughs> I love you. 
love you too, baby. I love you. I love you too, baby. I love you too. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm feeling very feverish and dizzy. Really? Please. Uh, when did this one start? Now. No, no. Sorry, eh? Mm. Your body is hot. Please, I think you're going to represent me then. Oh. Lola, you know, your presence is highly needed at today's meeting. I know. We know more mama will understand. Sorry. Mm. Oh, you know we actually forgot our hostel. We would have gone there without it and commit one abomination. <laughs> Let me take you in, then collect my own, mm. since you are not going with me. Mm. Oh, Lizzie, you have a very good heart. No, no, you started it all. Let me take you in. Didn't you bring those children for me? It's been long I saw them last. So. I thought of that, oh, Mama, but I decided to leave that with my mate since uh, she's taking care of them. I don't want anything to happen to those children. No. You better be careful how you leave those children to other people. Me? Mama, I didn't say I left them with other people. I said I left them with my mate, Rachel. Hmm. I see hands. Elizabeth, you never cease to amaze me. So you felt that because Rachel is your husband's first wife, she will be happy to stay with your kids. Eh? Now let me tell you, you better be careful how you relate with that woman. Each time I come to visit you, I see hatred in her eyes for you are staying in that house. A stick in time saves life. Mama. How can you say such about Rachel? Huh? Rachel is my best friend. Besides, she doesn't have that kind of heart. We are living in peace. Living in peace in my food. That woman is very cunning. Mama, stop now. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Elizabeth. 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 How many times did I call you? Three times. Be wise, my daughter. Be wise. Behave like a, a child that sold this, my breast. Or else you stand a chance of losing your stay in that house. That woman has used you to solve her marital problem. And all she wants now is to throw you out of that house. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Mulan, your eyes. Hmm. What I see sitting down. If you stand up, you will not see it too. A word is enough for the wife. Mama, is this the kind of advice you give to your daughter? The one that will break my home? I can see they have bewitched you already. I have said what I've said. Since you don't want me to stay with you, I am going. Let me go back to, to that witch. Let her kill me. You never even wanted me to get married. Elizabeth, come back here. I'm not coming back, Mama. Leave me alone. You never wanted me to get married. Let me go back to where they will kill me. Okay, we will see. <laughs> Let me see your face. <laughs> That's, That's my queen. Does it look nice? Very nice. That's oh, my queen. Thank you. <laughs> no, you are the queen. No, 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 we are both queens. Uh, uh. <laughs> wow. 
was so funny. You wait, you wait. My wife said it. You're welcome. Yes. I'm happy to find out of you in a pleasant mood. Igwe, we don't have a choice. <laughs> Darling, happy birthday. Oh, I, I, I almost forgot. How could you forget your own birthday? Igwe, oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You're one in a million. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Get up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Cute. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I wish I knew earlier. Oh, it's not late. Really? Oh. <laughs> um, darling, come on. For your birthday present, a new car for you. You, you bought a car for me? Oh, thank you. You bought a car for her? No, thank you. Thank you, you, thank you. Thank you very much. You you thank, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Go. Oh, fantastic. You don't believe it? At last, the state government has approved a contract for the local government to take care of our roads. Oh, that's good news. It sounds like a news flash. I'm so happy. <laughs> yes. What is in the bag? Um, look into it. Like you can use those in, uh, during the ceremony of the uh, local government chairman's marriage. Oh, God. Igwe. Igwe. My You're back. Yes. Welcome. How was the day? Fine, darling. What's going on here? It looks like somebody went for a big shopping. Now look at what our husband bought for me. This expensive lace material and a set of 
cold. Oh. All this for you alone. They are really beautiful and expensive. They really are. My wife has to look smart in a public function. If not, why am I making all the money? <laughs> if not to make the two of you special. They are beautiful. I really love them. You must be hungry, Igwe. Oh, as if you know what is on my mind. Very, very hungry. I hope you have my food ready. Your favorite. My favorite? Mm -hmm. You ladies you have a way of getting to the man's heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me change. I'll be able to in a jiffy. All right? Okay. Thank you. Wow. Oh. My sister. It's really beautiful. It is. Whenever you feel like wearing them, you can. Ah, no, no, it's okay. I know. <laughs> I've forgotten that today is a uh, Chief Omega's party. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> but I thought I should go with you. You're right, darling. Um, but you see, uh, all of us can be at the party at the same time. And we decided that one of you should stay back. We cannot leave, uh, leave the children alone in the house. Lizzie, we can't just go and leave all the children at home alone. Just try and reason with us. Reason with you? That's all I hear all the time. Am I not also part of this family? Igwe, am I not also your wife? Why must both of you take decision on matters? Oh, did you marry me? just for mere household chores. I think this discrimination has to stop. When it comes to going to functions, it's only Rachel. When it comes to household duties, then you people will remember that Elizabeth is there. Lizzie, it is not like that. You're taking this thing too far. Nobody is discriminating and nobody is talking about whom our dear husband loves most or cherishes most. We're just trying to put things in order. Putting everything in order, my foot. This nonsense we have to stop. Or? Or what? Or what, Elizabeth? Be careful. Let's have it. Come on, let's go. It's not fair. It's not fair. And all of you, you know it's not fair. You just want to treat me as if I'm a slave in this house. I hope nothing has happened to my grandchildren. Or your husband. Mama, that is why I'm here. My home is tearing apart. How do you mean? Hmm? Mama, I wish I had listened to you earlier. That woman, Rachel, is a thorn in my flesh. She has sworn never to allow me have peace of mind. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I wish I listened to you earlier. I wish I had been careful all this while. You can't imagine what I'm going through in that house. That woman, Rachel, has turned me into a slave in my own matrimonial home. The worst of it all is that 
She has bewitched my husband. My husband is no longer with his correct senses. He no longer cares about my children and I. All that matters to him is the welfare of Rachel and her children. He showers them with so much love and wealth. Things are really bad, Mama. Very bad. You see? I told you, Elizabeth. I told you. But you wouldn't listen to me. See where this has landed you to. Mama, what are we going to do? We have to do something fast before that woman throws my children and I out of that house. Don't worry. Don't worry, my daughter. You cannot lose your husband to a fellow woman. Rachel has just drawn the battle now. It is war for war now. Mama, you really have to do something for me. I know you'll be there for me. I know you'll help me. Help my dear husband. Is how it all started. And ever since then, we have been like cats and dogs. Mm. How I wish all of us would come together as one. We belong together. Why are we fighting one another? Why? Cassandra, I think you should try and get that sermon into your mother and your sister's heads. Because for me, I will always give it to them whenever they want it. And that is the problem. That is the problem with all of you. Would you please? Who needs peace? Peace? Can't you see my mother's face? Can't you see her face? Come back to those people again. Don't worry. I know how to handle her since she has started to join them. Why can't you give me one minute to pick the I hell out leave of that Cassandra. Girl. I have her medicine. Hello, everybody. Hi. 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 Did you get that jewelry for me? Oh, Joe. Mm. Can't you let him rest for a while before demanding for whatever? No, Mama, eh? Mama, Mama, Mama. Look, don't worry, Ujo. I got it for you. <laughs> hey, Mama. Mm. How is Papa's illness? I got his message very late. That's why I'm just coming. He's managing. He's managing. Anyway, mm. on my way here, I overtook a. Uh, AGK, I guess he's coming back home. Mama. Who or what is that you? It's Mama AGK and Bola. They nearly killed Mama while we were away yesterday. What? Cassandra. So your stupid mother and sister had the guts to lay a finger on my mother. So all I have heard is true. They found my mother at this house. So, you people are no longer afraid to fight my mom in my own house. In this house. I'm talking to you, woman. I am talking. You want to call 
you by name. You want me to call you by name? Go and shout at your useless, stupid mother. Why? You call Elizabeth, my mother, what, you stupid. What's your problem? Is your mother not stupid? I, I don't <laughs> heart is filled with sadness and sorrows. Why have you decided to turn my palace into a palace of horrors and mockery? Uguna, you're my first son. If I fail to see tomorrow, is this how you're going to handle the family? And you, Ejike, I married your mother so that you're gonna grow have a brother. You cannot buy a brother from the market. I wanted both of you to be close so that you could answer the calls of each other in times of need and emergency. Why are you doing this to me? Why can't you get together and make me proud as your father? The three of us are the men in this family. The rest are women. And the women should be under the control of the men. Why are you doing this to me? Now, you listen to me before it becomes too late. Both of you should go back to your mothers and sisters and talk to them in the language they will understand. I want you to do this immediately before you regret your lives. I hope I have made myself clear. my first son. You must carry your brother along. You must carry the family along. This you must not forget.
My father's second wife is at it again. Fighting my mother in front of me. Even my father is sick and tired of all these. But what about AGK as son? Can't he talk to the mother and the sisters? AGK. AGK even insulted me when I told him to talk to his mother and his sisters. He gave me the insult I will never forget in a hurry. That small boy. Well, uh, Ugonna, the truth is, you need to make your house a perfect home. I mean, your father is an Igwe of a community. If that old man dies now, nobody knows AGK but you. So I think you have to talk to your mother and your sisters. There is nothing like peace. The issue of blackout in our community has become so persistent. It's now a big problem. So what do we do? Each year. Okay, Mama. Igwe. Tomorrow, if I and see the district manager, at least let him send some engineers mm. eh? to handle this situation. Yes. Whatever it is, this is a professional area and we cannot dabble into it. It's all right, it's all right. Uh, but may I remind you that during the last rains a few days ago, about 16 poles fell and we need to replace them. Uh, not only that, Igwe, we also need cables. Some of these poles, when they fell down, they destroyed some cables along with them. So they need replacement. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Whatever it is, yes. let us get the opinion of the district manager. Good. At least we we'll start from there. It's all right. Yeah? It's all right. lesson they will never forget in their lives. And you, Ejike, you have to be very, very careful. You know your father loves Ugona so much. You shouldn't give him any chance. Oh. If not, you stand to lose some of your father's property. Mama, I don't even know your son. Me, me, I'm willing to kill Ugona and have his meat for Suya. <laughs> What does he even think he is? Always keeping his shoulder like one governor or whatever because that is always passing box to him. Don't mind him. Don't be afraid of anybody. We are also a firstborn, my own side. Mama, can you imagine? The other day, his Yoma was insulting me, calling me all sorts of names. Mama, we will show them in this house. We will show them the stuff we are made of. Rotten egg! 
It's again. It's your job. Why all <laughs> these fights? Are we not of the same blood? Mama, why? Brother GK, why? Don't you people know that Papa is not feeling fine? If we continue like this, we'll all stand to lose him. Hmm. Mother, Mother Teresa, why? Mama, why? Why? It's not funny. Mama, why? Mama, why? Mama, why? Brother, why? why? Everybody, why? why? Come and I'll teach you what it takes to be a real man. I am here. What do you want to do? What do I want to do? I'm here. Me, I will kill you and the federal government will not cough. Just watch your useless mother and kill her, not me. Eh? You call my mother useless. Me! Eh? You do the bottle. Where, where are you God going to save you? Where are you going to? Wait, I'm coming. I am here. Come, let's fight. Just wait. Come, let's fight. Where are you going? No, no, no. I got a message for you. I I'm waiting. You're so confused, you can't even start the car. So You're so messed up, you can't start the car. Don't, don't Come on, let's fight, HK. Look, look at look at you. Look at you. I'm, I'm watching, I'm watching. HK, come down, let's fight. Where are you going? Where are you going? You're a coward. HK, you're a coward. You're a coward. Come, let's fight, man. You're a coward. You should have scattered his brain with that broken bottle. Scatter it. EJK, you are my son. You should be behaving like me. If you don't do things like this, they won't be afraid of us. Mama, imagine Ogona calling you a useless woman. But he's a fool now. A big fool for that, that matter. I better thank his God. He should have been dead by now. Brother EJK, brother Ogona is your brother. Our brother. Our house looks like a war zone. Let's make pics, Brother GK. Please, Brother GK, stop listening to Mama. Yes, if things continue like this, no suitor will come here to ask for a hand in marriage. Shut your dirty mouth up there. If you can't get married, stay in this house with me. After all, you're not the only one. <laughs> Cassandra, I've heard you. I won't listen to Mama. I'll listen to you. Yeah. But first, I have to deal with Ugona. I want to show him he has an equal in me. Bro, DJ, you don't have to do that. Now go upstairs. I said get up. Mama, it's not fair. Hey, shut up. Get up. Mama, what you're doing is not good. What do you know is good? It's what you're doing that is good. What you're doing is good. Eh. If they kill me and my children, that will be good. Come on, go. We will fight it out. In this house, we will fight it out. Next opportunity you have, scatter his brain. He's lucky. Let me see where they will come from again to fight us. He's lucky. Every day, is their mother and, 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 and her children. Me and my children should go and hang. It's a lie. We will fight it out. My children. If I have offended any of you, please let him or her speak. All right. You people, especially my two wives and sons have brought shame to me. The two of you are graduates and I made sure that my sons were comfortable. So, what have I done to you? Rachel, 
Elizabeth was your best friend. It was you who brought her to me for marriage. We desired that our dreams should come true. But the moment she entered this house, both of you turned my palace into a war zone. You mean... Shut up. As you can see, I'm now dying gradually. My hypertension is on the rise. So I'm begging you, my children, to please love one another. Live in peace, and God will bless you. Wine carrying. Yes! I will not go to the Igwe's palace. I don't want his wife and children to pour hot water on me. <laughs> uh -uh. You are right. I have decided not to go to Igwe's palace again. Oh. Uh, every day fighting and quarreling. I, I even heard that uh, Ejike uh. used bottle to stab his brother in the eyes. Uh, is it? I, no, it's on the forehead. On the forehead. On the forehead. Yes. On the forehead. Ha. Okay. I told the Igwe yes. to transfer his palace to my house here for future cabinet meetings. Uh -huh. You are right. This is good thinking. Thank you. God knows I will not step that palace again. I will never. Hey. Uh, by the way, did you visit the Nepal office? Uh, Nepal office? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, I did, I did, I did. Yeah. They will start work next week. Oh, very good. Very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. Please, eh? Please. Uh, Kwadi Kaisi, Kwenugo. Bye bye, eh? Marigas, everybody. Hey, how are Educate hit your head with a bottle. God. Look, I wanted to kill him. But I remembered what my father told me and I kept calm. Zubi, look at my face. 
And look at my face. I have gotten a bad scar from my key brother, that small boy Ichike. Well, you still have to forgive him. He's your brother. By the way, what brought about the fight this time around? AJK beat up my kid sister. Oh. It's your man. AJK beat her up. When I tried to ask him, it resulted into this. AJK, 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 all the time. AJK. Well, I believe he will understand. One day he will understand. One good day he will understand. You still your brother? Every little thing that we do should be between me and you. The freaky things that we do is keep between me and you. Cause every little thing that we do should be between me and you. The freaky things that we do. Now when I first met her, all I thought was dogs are dogs Like lose a lane, we can get out freaking on Baby, know the game, slip away, slap me your number It's the last day of spring, see you first day of summer I'm a bad mother, shut your mouth, pull a drive out Creep at a low speed, it's homie probably know me I push the pedal, thought to your stiletto Way up in the air like I think he's here to see Every time that I'm alone with you Homie be checking up on you But if that nigga only knew from the sale of my Range Rover. Who authorized you to sell my car? And by the way, where did you get the papers? Where? Papa, why are you shouting now? Why are you even shouting as if I saw the armor? The car is no good, so I had to sell it. Where's the money? Where is the money? Uh, well, I, I imported some clothes for them. You what? Yes, Igwe. He... He imported some clothes. Huh? I am aware of it. You're aware of it. So this is conspiracy. Huh? This is conspiracy. Uh, 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 Where's the money? I don't know why you're worrying yourself over nothing. How much is how much is the money? You and your son. How much is the car itself? How else can I make you understand your responsibility as the head of this house? Ejiki is the only brother you have in this world. So whatever he does to you, you must find a place in your heart to forgive him. I married a second wife. Just to make you have more brothers. Your mother had problems having more children. In fact, the doctor said her life would be involved if she ever tried to have more children. So that is the position. Little did I know that Elizabeth was responsible for my problems. 
I later found out. I've also apologized to your mother, who I was compelled to send back to her people as a result of all the wrong accusations by Elizabeth. I want you to find a wife for yourself. Yes. Because I want to see my grandchildren. I assure you that that house in the city where UK is living is the only thing she'll get from me. No more, no less. that I'm a maid. Well, I am a maid. I'm a rotten egg. Whatever you call me in my husband's house, you, at your age, you cannot boast of your husband. You are getting old, don't you know? Is she your age, mate? Am I? What right do you have to send somebody out of this place? How old were you when my father married you? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Why did you do that? I was making a visit, but she should get up from the stage. She refused. Daddy, mm. 
Have you taken your drugs today? My drugs? I don't know. I think so. Daddy, mm -hmm. you'll be fine, eh? I'll be fine. Daddy, mm -hmm. do you want me to sing for you? To sing for me? Yes. Okay. Okay. My daughter, sing for me. Igwenamwe, Igwenamwe. Ichika, I wanted to go and apologize to your father for selling his car. You know he's already up in my with you. Because of an old cargo car that's been parked for years? Huh. If you won't forgive me, let him forget it. I don't care. HK. I am your mother. I can never deceive you. You know, your father has a lot of houses, a lot of property. I want you to go and do it so that he can give you your own share of his wealth. Okay, Mama. I'll see him when I come back from Kaduna next week. Why don't you go and see him tomorrow before you go to Kaduna? Let me enjoy this meal now. Nidwe was alive, you never gave him peace of mind. You never gave him rest for one day. Now he's dead. And you are now crying. Why are you crying? Why is everybody crying? Bigwe is dead. Ugonna. As the firstborn of the family, inform us when you are ready to make peace. We're not begging you to stop quarreling. We are not begging you to stop fighting, not to stop warring. After all, the Igwe's corpse is in the mortuary. He won't come to disturb you again. So, continue fighting. Go on, Larry! <laughs> 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 
Go on, fire him! Every day, go on! Go on! So much. I did not forget you. I didn't forget you. I didn't forget you. Gladys. Thank you. I heard something when I was just calling. That our Igwe is dead. The death of Igwe. It's no news now. Hey. It's all over the town. Such a wonderful man. Hey. It's a pity. And I heard that his family, his wife and children, they're always fighting. Who doesn't know in this town that Igwe's house is a cinema house in this town? A house of commotion. Now that he's dead, let's see what will happen. I feel for those children. We all felt for this. It's a pity. I feel for them too. Hey! Kiru, Kiru, look at your shoes. I'm going to open shoes first. Kiru, what did you get for you? Oh, you know, I can't open this bag outside. Let's go, let's go inside. Let's go. Hey! Kiru, I'm glad this is not one of you. So you need bigger capital for that. Of course, that won't be too much of. I mean, won't be much problem. Uh, I mean, I'll try and run around, you know, and see how I can raise the capital. I mean, if I come to you, won't you give me? Of course, I will give you. You know, my man. Oh my God! Hey, I go. Yeah. <laughs> if I go one or two places, you know, possibly France, I raise it. Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. So you know what you have. To, you have to use what you have to get what you want. Of course, of course. These this old man's friends or these dead friends and all. You know, what life. you need is to package yourself. Man. Get yourself package, man. Package? Of course. Packaging. Of course. Packaging. My son, what about the discussion we had the other day? Oh. Mama, is it about the marriage issue? Yes, my son. You have to get married and give me grandchildren. You know, time waits for no one. And as you can see, I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> mama, look, don't worry, Mama, okay? Just stay cool. I'll get a wife, and both of us will give you grandchildren. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. My son, I'm glad you understand. But whatever politics you look for in a wife, don't forget strength and courage. Knowing the kind of family you come from, be wise. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. What is up? Hey, hey, hey. Now your father is dead. How will you know where you belong? Mama, How? this is not any problem, okay? I, I can handle this, okay? Hmm. Hey, I come back from Cardona, I see him. But before you came back, your father was already dead. How will you get your own share of his property? Rachel and her son will embezzle everything. Mama, you don't have to break your head over a non-issue. This is not a case. Huh? I will see you good now. Oh, don't go wine. Smile for me now. Ah. Sweet mama. It's okay, it's okay, mama. Take care. Okay, it's alright. Just um, call me back in the next two hours, okay? Thank you. 
I'm yes. Just, uh, I don't know how long it will take them to approve the contract. It's taking quite some time. <laughs> well, it does take a while to approve proposals. But the thing is, you have to go through the right quarters, press the right buttons, meet the right people. So who are the right people now? <laughs> Come to the proposal master, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. What do you want in my house? I've come to sort things out with you. I am listening. I want to have my share of her father's property. Educate, listen. I am not your father. Neither am I an estate manager. You should have demanded that your share be given to you when Igwe was alive. Don't give me that crap. Now, what do you take me for? Please. I don't fight! Please come down. Look, you, you, you stay out of this. HK, leave my house now. Go to Igwe's grave. Dig up Igwe and demand that your share be given to you. Leave my house before you lose. Fight. You are an idiot. I am going to kill you, Tukukona. And I will make sure you lose everything in your possession. Educate. Leave my house. Now. What if I don't leave? told me to go and dig up Papa's grave and demand my own share. He even threatened to lose his temper at me. <laughs> what did he finally say? <laughs> uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Mama, just, just, just go and sleep. No. Leave Ugo now. I will handle him myself. I think you have to go and see some elders about this. It's no. a serious case, oh. No, Mama. I'll take care of Ugona myself. He's a man like me. See some elders concerning. It's a serious, very serious case. Oh. Oga, leave my bag for me. Pay me now. Oga, leave my bag for me. me now. Hey, Oga, leave my bag for me. Oga, leave my bag for me. This bag will not pay you. Let me tell you what happened. If you pay me, this man carried me. Pay you. Leave this bag. This man carried me from Enugu. Charged me 500 naira. I have not even gotten to where I'm going to. He's asking me to add another 500 naira for him. Or gali my bag for me. Me, yeah. you want to here? Or gali my bag for me? Oh. I carried her bag for me. Yeah. We, we, we agreed 500 naira. And now here I tell you, me to make a drop her. By this, you tell me say you never reach where they go. I cannot go any further again. So if okay. I will go for that, happen. Or gali my bag for me. Oh, leave my bag for me. Oh. This bag cannot pay you. Relax. No. Relax. Pay me, let me leave the bag. Leave my money now. Leave, 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 leave it for If she says, I leave the bag. Yes, I leave the bag. If she pay me, I leave the bag. Don't mind this man, no. Or leave my bag for me. Or leave my bag for me. Or leave my bag for me. 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 What's going on? What's going on? Or let me tell you what happened. This man carried me from Enugu. Charged me 500 naira. I haven't even gotten to where I'm going to. He's asking me to add another 500 naira for him. To pay him 1,000 naira. For what? Ogali, my back. It's all right. It's Ogali, so just uh, calm down, calm down. I charge her 500 naira. Here. He tell me he said he never reach. And now here we share them. I tell him, say if I want to go further, you add more 500 naira. So how, how, how much is your money? 1,000, sir. 1,000. Yes, sir. That's all. Yes, sir. Um, okay, thanks, sir. Oh, yeah. I'm not entering this thing. 
Mazinweke's daughter. Ah, uh, yes. I'm from. Abani Klein. How how do I? How does one get to her place? You know. Just straight. You see her house at the extreme. Okay, yes. thank you. Any problems? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no problems. No problems. No problem. Uh, thank you very much. Because I was busy watching her walk away. Mm -hmm. So be that girl is beautiful. <laughs> Look, even while I was trying to make peace between her and the taxi driver, yeah. I couldn't take my eyes off her. Look, my mom will be very, very happy because she's the type of girl she wants for me like that. My father would have been very happy too. It's alright. So, what are we waiting for? When are we going to see her? Now? Oh. It's, it's, now. it's okay. <laughs> So we calm down, okay? Calm down. As you well know, I'll be very busy these coming days. Um, okay, this is what we'll do. Okay. As soon as I come back from Abuja, I'll give you a call, then we'll go see her. The prince. <laughs> <laughs> zubi Zubi. I like this story. <laughs> Tell me. It's either he shares it equally or he dies. Jack, like, what are you telling me? You are still talking about that one. You have to take action immediately. Eh? Tell me, I could your own brother, your own blood brother, she's your father's property, and you're telling you a cockamboo story. A man, open your eyes. Oh, you have a point, Tony. You have a big point. Now, let me tell you, see what you're going to do. It's either he shares the property 50 50 as an equal, or we look for one of these guys to waste his life. I remember, we still have a lot of things to do with money. China and some other things, no need wasting time. Tomorrow I'll go and see mental and stop you know. You have to do that. You have to do that. that. Get time. It's not the attack again. Get time. The attack is not you. Please tell me. Please. Please. Get mad. Hello. Hello. My name is Ugona Naji, and this is my friend Azubike. We are here to see your daughter and kill. You're welcome. Thank you. Please do come inside. Okay. okay. You sit down, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I have we met? Of course we have. And have you forgotten the incident between yourself and the taxi driver? Oh, I remember. Thank you so much. You didn't get to meet again. I, I I didn't remember telling you my name or where I stay. How come you got here? I hope there's no problem. Uh, no, 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 we are here for you. We are to see you. Yes. Okay. Sit down. Thank you. Look, um, I am here to ask for your hand in marriage. I hardly know you. I, you're almost a stranger to me, so how could you possibly be asking for my hand in marriage? My name is Ugonda Naji. 
son of late Igwen Naji. And this is my friend, Azubike, my Azubike. best friend. <laughs> I'm honored to have you here, my prince. Um, but I'm sorry to say that I don't have the strength to marry into your family. No, see, I want you to forget about the family stuff for now. After all, it's not the family you're marrying. It's the gun I had that you're going to marry. That's why we've come. I want you to think about it. Please. Please. Okay. I'll think about it. Yeah, thank you. No, I'm, I'm sorry if I was that direct. I, I just didn't want to beat about the bush. You know, I just wanted you to know why we're here. And, and please, say yes. Yeah, I'll think about it. What is it? We want, we want more rice. Meat. Meat. More meat, brother. <laughs> I hope the girl you want to marry is pretty. <laughs> Don't worry, just wait until you see her. But I have a big problem. You all know that our family is very notorious in this town. The girl bluntly told me that she would not marry into our family. I don't blame her. No man in his right senses will dip his fingers into a burning fire. Anyway, my son, keep on trying. Try and see if you can convince her. Hmm? By the grace of God, she might submit. Maybe I should go and talk to her. After all, she's not a girl like me. It's a small thing. But what do you think? Yes, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. But, just like Mama said, I'll go and try her again. At least let me know where I stand. But Mama, mm -hmm. there is this thing about the girl, okay? She, it makes me think of an angel. She, she, she's what? Oh. Hey, tell us to stop all this nonsense. No, I don't mind it. But, but seriously, don't worry. One day you, you will see this girl. She's wonderful, Mama. She is. She is. She is. She is, she is, she is, she is, she is supposed to be a part of our family, honestly. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'll try. I'll try. Just we like can't wait to see her. No, you will see her. Mm -hmm. Just pray to God that she accepts. We'll put it in prayer. She will. Is he the only occupant in the house? Not really. But it's a duplex door. Yeah, he has a gate man, you know. It's about the gate. Guys, you know how to do this job better than I do, you know? You guys blow his fucking brain, no? The job is done. You do. Lion is under the tree with its eyes closed. It's either it is resting or it is thinking about its next meal. Be careful. 